There's not a single president of any of our universities in this country that are required to have a group with terrorist ties as a club or organization on their campus. Not one. Here in the United States, we have a huge problem. The Middle East terrorists, Muslim Brotherhood, Islamic Jihad, uh, Hezbollah, Hamas, the Iranians, they have a foothold in our country. They have a foothold throughout our country. They're well organized. They're taking their marching orders from the terrorists in the Middle East. You must be wondering to yourselves, where are all these people coming from on these college campuses and in these protests talking about exterminating Jews and carrying around flags with the swastika? And by the way, the same people who hate America and were probably involved in the riots in 2020 and, and, uh, and have nothing but contempt for our history and our country. Well, I can tell you where some of them are coming from. Student visas, lax immigration policies, and that's what happens when you don't actually monitor and manage your immigration system. This visa system, the student visa system, we have students who come here, violate the visa because they don't go home, and then they form these organizations. You know, we talk about the Confucius Institutes. That's terrible. Now I want to talk to you about Students for Justice in Palestine, their name. I certainly didn't name it. There's a piece put together by the Jerusalem Center for Public Affairs, an American who's in Israel and who looked at this very extensively. And his name is Dan Diker. He's the president of the organization, along with Jamie Burke. And I want to read to you what I found online. And I had this, this young man on my radio show as well. He's absolutely fantastic. These demonstrations you're seeing, what you're seeing on our college campuses, most of that is coming from this organization, which is a front group. Just as CARES, a front group for Hamas and has been for the longest time, it was created by Hamas in the mid-1990s in a meeting in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I've talked about that at length. Now we have this group as well. Here's their executive summary. The Students for Justice in Palestine Network serves as the leading student arm of the Boycott, Divestment, and Sanctions Movement in the United States. They call it SJP for short. SJP is not as they claim, that is a grassroots student organization, it's a terror-affiliated anti-Semitic network that currently operates with autonomy and impunity at colleges and universities across the United States. Now, let's just stop there a second. How do they get away with operating with autonomy and impunity in our colleges? Academic freedom? Well, they don't believe in academic freedom. There's not a single president of any of our universities in this country that are required to have a group with terrorist ties as a club or organization on their campus. Not one. None. They're not required. They're not compelled under the federal constitution or any state constitution to allow organizations with links to terrorists in the Middle East to have a, a platform in our colleges and universities. And folks, you're paying for this stuff. You are paying for this stuff with your hard-earned tax dollars, federal and state. Federal and state governments subsidize our universities and colleges for hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars. This isn't about academic freedom. Notice, isn't it interesting that conservatives can't speak on college campuses? This group's part of the reason why. And I don't mean just Jews. I mean conservatives of any stripe. Meanwhile, any organization or individual who basically supports the Islamo-Nazi movement has free reign. And then they give tenure to these professors. This is why Barack Obama was so detestable. One of his friends was this guy, Khalidi, who was a Palestinian professor, had links to some of the worst elements in the Middle East. He became a tenured professor. And how about the American-born domestic terrorists who are trying to overthrow our government? These communists uh, who, who wound up, of course, getting tenured positions at the University of Chicago with the Weather Underground. Remember them? Trying to blow up the Capitol building, blow up the Pentagon building, trying to blow up the White House. Yeah, yeah, that was a real insurrection, but we don't talk about that anymore. What about Students for Justice in Palestine, SJP? So they're not, as they claim, a grassroots student organization. And what's amazing to me is none of the media in America 
have done what I did. I went on the internet, looked this up, saw the author, had him on my radio show. They show the flags, they show the protests. In one network, Fox condemns them. The other networks, well, they really don't. Or they do in a very staccato kind of way, not consistently. Because they have hosts and guests who are pro-Hamas. They just do. The same people who hate America. So SJP has adopted a policy of, quote, anti-normalization, unquote, of relations with Zionist groups and most Jewish groups, with the exception of the equally radical, anti-Zionist, pro-PDS Jewish Vote for Peace, another front group, another phony group. Students for Justice in Palestine advances their proprietary view of Palestinian justice by undertaking initiatives to isolate, demonize, and ultimately destroy the state of Israel. And they have a massive foothold here in the United States and over 200 college campuses, starting with the Ivy Leagues like Harvard, but also George Washington University, University of Virginia, NYU, 200. Over 200 universities that we subsidize. We're subsidizing our own destruction. Many students and university administrations have treated them as a pro-Palestinian equivalent of pro-Israel groups such as Stand With Us, the Israel On Campus Coalition, or Hillel. But as this monograph of documents, which they provide, SJP is an extremist organization that maintains affiliations with Arab and Islamic terror groups, is overtly anti-Semitic, incites hatred and violence against Jewish students, and rejects the existence of the state of Israel in any borders. This is, these are the people you see on college campuses. They're going to have national organizations, national meetings, national public events, all intended to push their poisonous propaganda while they've tried to annihilate the Jewish people in Israel. SJP has been linked to terror groups. Some have defined SJP as a campus front for Hamas at the University of California, Berkeley. Principal backers include founders, financial patrons, and ideological supporters who've been connected to Islamic terror organizations, such as Hamas, Hezbollah, Palestinian Islamic Jihad, and the Marxist Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine. Students for Justice in Palestine is a byproduct of the American Muslims for Palestine, an organization whose leaders were former members of Palestine and Islamic terrorist groups. Why are these affiliates on our college campuses? We act like these college campuses are their own reservations or their own segregated areas where they can do whatever the hell they want under the umbrella of free speech and academic freedom, which they don't believe in. We can't have terror cells dressed up as student organizations in this country. There's over 200 of them now. It's unbelievable, really. Want to see more? Sign up for Levin TV.